guys, Axis and Alloy is back here. We just finished round two. The Germans advanced into Soviets, Soviet territory, took Best Arabia, Eastern Poland, and Baltic states. Soviets took back Baltic states. The Germans uh, look to be preparing for a siege on Leningrad, so. British moved to fighters, Soviets are moving into Leningrad, moving a lot of troops there. Soviets building up. In this game, you want to try to do some counterattacks, but mainly you want to build up at your three key centers, that way you're ready. Germans down in Africa. Uh, taking Libya, and then also um, moving and getting, they attempted to take Syria. But um, one Soviet infantry survived, and so now the Soviets in Iraq, Brits in Syria. There's really no good way to reinforce Africa. Um, besides for maybe sending planes from the UK. Because Soviets are focused on the Germans. Uh, this turn, the, the United Kingdom bombed Germany for 12 IPCs. This bomber survived the defending fighter and anti-air, got six. And this bomber survived the two anti-air, well, the six. Germans looking for their Barbarossa. United States doesn't have any navy, has 60 in the bank, so is looking to buy one in the future. Brits bought a sub to try to liberate some, try to liberate and um, control some of the waves. Um, so yeah, the United States have been out of the game now. This is, this is not good for the Soviets because if the United States can't start getting boots on the ground in, in, in Morocco and in France, it could, um, it could spell, spell some doom for the, the Soviet Union. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what, um, what the United States can come up with and, um, hopefully... Hopefully, the United States will be able to rescue the Soviet Union along with the United Kingdom. But for now, they're just left to, uh, to bomb in Germany. Well, tried to make this one a quick one. Thank you all for watching. This is round two of my Axis and Allies Europe solo game. Uh, yeah, this is Axis and Allies signing off.